Okay, you can see Burlington there. We're heading to the store right beside of it, which is Books A Million. Uh, the reason I'm filming down here and not going in Burlington, I just went in there. They didn't have anything. And then I realized I left my wallet in the truck. So I had to go back and get the wallet to go in Books A Million. Long story short, let's go see what Books A Million has got. Okay, as you can see already, we've got the new Batmobile is in Books A Million. We've got a Justice Buster where it picked him up. Here's Anti-Monitor. They still got a bunch of the big Batman. I knew this was coming back. 32. Hmm, I want to get that, but I think I'm going to wait for Target. I think it'll be 29, but oh, oh man, they've got the new Hush. The black and gray, oh, that is sweet. How much is it here? 21.99. I got a couple of them. What else have we got up here? Flash out oh, looks to be the same, good by the amount of dust on them. Let's see if they got anything else in here around Hush. Adam Smasher, Dark Flash. Um, got mostly older stuff down through there and Batman Spawn. Oh man, the Hush Batman. That is pretty cool. Let's just see what's behind the other one. There should be another one. Nope, Black Adam. <laughs> Let's put that up there for a minute because it kind of makes it easier to move these around. I don't think they have anything else new buried back in here. I'm not going to dig through all those. But yeah, we got to get pictures of these guys. I'm going to set them up top. And... Hmm, he didn't smile. That's cool. I would act more excited than that. But there's a lot of people around me. So I'm trying not to act like too much of a nerd. Gee, we found us, Batman. <laughs> I got a buttload of these. These things seem to be shuffling here, at least. Uh, Selena Kyle Unmasked. Hush. I don't have any more of the. Oops. Let's just lay that on there. The Collector Series. I had a bunch of those here at one point. The Superman's first appearance and. Alan Scott Green Lantern. Still like to commandeer a Platinum Abyss just because I got. Um of the others now all right let's see what we got on this little rack still got willie nelson down there captain spaulding's out at the bottom Elvira, alf well oh, the legends thing is going where's the marvel legends let's see what we've got over here bebop rocksteady we got casey jones oh they got slash is that the glow in the dark one Grimsword, Zerg, and Stronghearts. Yeah. Nothing different in this. There's one. This one. Oh, that was that was smooth. You see that? This one not glow in the dark. Is that like a special edition or something? Hmm. Anyways, we're gonna be hitting Ross next. I'm hoping to find um, the other neck of him for 14 bucks. Oh, I see the Marvel Legends. They moved them behind me back here. I don't see anything else different on that, guys. The usual best actions. Let's see here. Still got Wonder Man. Commander Rogers. This is actually one I can't find at Ollie's. I don't know. If, I thought about getting the core Gilda figure, but... $26.99. I bet I could get that cheaper on eBay. If I do decide to buy it. There's a storm. I wonder where the X-Men animated figures went. Still just Storm and Jean Grey. Got some more Batmobiles, Justice Buster and Anti-Monitor. Cool to see those. More older legends here. And what do we got over here on the pops? There's Snoop Dogg. Now I'm gonna get gin and juice stuck in my head. Uh, what do we got here? Ninja Turtles, National Lampoons, uh, 
Gotham, no Batman. I've seen the crow online. I like to find a crow with that. That's a pretty cool Harley. What have we got here? Some Beetlejuice stuff. But yeah, the hitters of this store, we've got Justice Buster, we've got Anti-Monitor, and we've got the <gasps> Hush Batman. But if I see anything else in here, I'll show it to you. If not, then I'm going to see you at that next one. Ooh, books a million, had some good stuff. Now we're going to head into Ross here. Hopefully the streak continues. We can find some turtles or bat cycles or something in here. But let's go look. Uh, let's take a look around in here. They got some stuff that wasn't in here yesterday when me and the other guys rated this. They didn't have this little Technic set. That's pretty cool. $9.99. That's like $3 off. That was a good one. I think Kelly's already bought that for... I better not say anything. I probably already said too much. Anyway, there's a chance we've already picked that thing up. Wow, that's heavy. Old man Honda in last time. Anything out here? No. Well, there's stuff there, but nothing we are going to purchase. And they still got several of these. I actually don't think they sold any of them. There's Red Robin. These are in good shape, too. Duke Thomas. Blight. Duke Thomas. I think Collecting Havoc needs him. I don't think he can find him in his area. <laughs> General Zod. Ghostmaker. This thing is cool. They had him the other day. You know, most of the guys are all over these things. I can't believe they didn't buy more of them. I'm trying to think if they had anybody. Was Ghostmaker? He's still here. I don't know. I guess they were like me, they got excited seeing multiverse and realized they had them all already. Oh, we'll squat down here, make sure we don't have any bat cycles stuck in here behind anything. I can't move that. Um, no. So far, no good on bat cycles. Uh, is that a $20.99? Uh, I don't know about that. I will say one of the guys here yesterday was very excited over Spider-Man Titan series figures. So I'm assuming he bought some. There might have been... Oh, they didn't have this one either. I think that sucks. That's one of the few ones I actually have it that way. If we need Wolverine. And if I can find the Build-A-Figure pieces, I'll probably buy all the Build-A-Figures. $5.99. I paid full price for that blank of blank thing. That's in really good shape, too. Um, there's Vulcan. So we got him. And we got Havoc. Got these monsters. They put on all of these monster mech strikes. All of these were not yet. There's another legend. Another Vulcan. Who's behind here? Still got Reverse Flash. I've had him for a little while. Oh, that's the two I set up there. <laughs> Getting ready to say, hey, I found two more. No, I didn't. Well, I did, but I found them before I put them there. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, can I already squat down like this? Bunch of Roblox stuff. Mutant Mayhem. Um, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good. Still got the Lego. There's another Vulcan back there, but I don't see any more of the wave. So it looks like Vulcan and Havoc have hit here. Or Havoc, however you want to say it. I don't know. I say Havoc. Oh, anything back here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sabertooth, Wolverine. Mag and Darwin, oh, they got another Leo. <sighs> that was beat up on the back. Getting ready to say, I think I know someone who is looking for that, but it's beaten up. I need the other three. I need Mikey, Donnie, and Raph. And I watched some other hunters, and they're finding. Mikey, Donnie, and Raph, and not Leo. <laughs> okay, but I don't see anything else. I'm going to go dig through those some more so we can find any more legends and then decide whether or not we're going to pick up Vulcan and Havoc. But if I do find anything else, I'll show it to you. If not, then I'll see you at the next.
Okay, we're going to film this quick because it's starting to get windy up here. You might not be able to hear me very well, but we're at Gang Stop in Bristol. Let's get the weekend. Momentum's going pretty good so far, so let's keep it going. Let's see what they got. Let's see what we got here. Still got this. Um, do we have anything? Oh, look, GI Joe, Crimson Vipers. I'm assuming these are 24 bucks. Are they all Crimson Viper? They are, and then we've got Snake Eyes. Desert Commando Snake Eyes. And they got a rock and roll back there in the main back. Oh, they got Grunt. Was this the one people were getting to Target? It's like $11. I think it was mispriced or something. That's pretty cool, too. Try not to break these Groot planters. Uh, what else we got? Jumanji. Um, back here. All right, that looks like it might be in multiverse. About the same old stuff. They still got that Riddler back here with the messed up hanger. Not a platinum one, so. And we did get him from Amazon. And it came in pretty good shape. Oh, they got Rogue, too. Rogue and Gambit. I thought I read that Gambit was targeted for exclusive. First time seeing the Rogue figure. Now Storm. I haven't seen Storm or Bishop yet. Nice to see those things showing up. And they've got a Doom and Captain Marvel 2 pack. T3 hooked me up with one of those. But yeah, we've got some GI Joes. To say that we are here bright and early is an understatement because they just unlocked the door. So we're going to hurry and get in here because I'm assuming everybody walking in are collectors and they're going to raid the toy section. So let's get in here. Let's get the Saturday hunt started off right and let's find some good stuff. Let's go Walmart. Got our usual compliment of Transformers. That guy, I've seen him before. He's kind of cool looking. Cloud cover. Optimus Prime. Got some big turtles down there. Mikey of the Classics, and then those Leo and Raph from Mutant Mayhem. I don't know if they got a Leo up there or not. Uh, we got some Star Wars stuff here behind us. It sounds like a stock car from the other side of the aisle. Let's pop it out here and then get ran over. Cassian Andor. Some of us feel this with old stuff. <laughs> okay. So they are out of the new Star Wars restock stuff. Unless they got some of the figures down through there. I don't know. Transformers. Still got Meat and Mayhem. Meat and Mayhem is going to be a hot ticket clearance item one of these days. Don't get me wrong, it was insanely popular when it first came out, but I think it has died down. Movie Turtles, Wing Nut, Screw Loose. I'm trying to think, this is where I found Genghis, or not Genghis, but the new wave last week of Mondo Gecko and him. I don't know. See what we got up there. Oh, still got some card in Spider Man Legends. Any of these I didn't get that I wanted? I missed at Target. Miles, Jessica Drew. Ah, I got the rose. That's why I say every rose has its own old stuff. <laughs> Jimmy Woo. I like Jimmy Woo's character. Hulks, dinosaurs, X-Men mask and glove, and big wolvie. But no X-Men carded legends, or the little small ones. Well, the small ones aren't legends, but you know. There's a Duke Thomas. Oh, what do we got up here? Those are Blue Beetles. Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle, Kingdom Come Batman. Okay. Adam Smasher stuff, Steel, Shazam. I'm not getting a warm, fuzzy feeling. We're going to find a Vampire Green Lantern here this morning. They also don't have the clearance on. These are still full price, the Batwing and the Supermobile. All right, let's see what we got down here. I got a pretty healthy stock of Multiverse on this second shelf. So, Oh, man. I'm down here, but I'll get back up. We've got... Kid Flash from The Darkest Night. We have got Barry Allen from The Darkest Night. 
we've got we got the whole darkest night wave actually they have a lot of that wave a lot of that wave i guess that's going to be the new blackest night the darkest night it's now taking place as blackest night i don't know if that's a good thing or not we came out of the darkest or black blackest night and now we're into the darkest night is that kind of the same thing okay oh gosh we're back down again let's see what we got in here Batman, Batman, Robin, Batman, Batman, there's one more. Who has it? Batman. So all Batmans and one Robin. No Freeze or Batgirl. I gotta say, the Darkest Night figure, build a figure I'm interested in. The rest of the wave, I'm not. If it were on clearance or Ollie's, I would probably buy it. No new superpowers. So we got up there Keaton double barrel. That's my buddy, still 20 bucks. Oh, we got them here behind us. What we got? I got a bunch of Pokemon. Scanning the top shelf. There's the ultimate warrior plushie in there with the Huggy Wuggies. Pikachu's ultimate warrior versus Huggy Wuggy. Man, that would be a sight, wouldn't it? Still got full price on the dragon and Dungeons and Dragons. Well, it's all Dungeons and Dragons, but the dragon and the little figs. What do we got here? It's not a chase, is it? No. What are these? Oh, that's little packs. Okay. Oh, cool little character pack there. Luke and Grogu. Apollo Creed. AEW. Crockmaster is still there. Hey, they got the new wave of uh, W. Well, he's one of the figures. Drew McIntyre. What is it? Series 104. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Got some more Luke and Grogu. They don't have Kersantan that I can see. Oh, they got Rick Steiner. Man, once again, what's up with all these wrestling figures always coming in like smashed? Rick Steiner's pretty cool. I gotta say. We're going to take a picture here of this little section. Because, well, let's, let's zoom back. I'm going to need a thumbnail. And who knows? This might be as good as it gets this morning. We, we guys, we might not find anything. There's a possibility. We might not find anything else. Eddie Kingston. Cody Rhodes. Uh, man, they got nothing on clearance here. If I can get a hold of that. Just want to make sure we don't have an Owen Hart in here because i have still not seen the owen hart figure for AEW. anybody else finding or not finding that thing uh, aj styles he's 104 if i didn't already see him he's right there too hanging out commissioner foley ours bond braun breaker rick steiner's son so father and son that's pretty cool the x division title I haven't seen him wrestle, but I've heard from my friends that like wrestling that he's actually quite good, so I don't know. Don't know. Um, I don't see any new Motu Legion Snout Spout. That's definitely not new. And oh, oh, they do have Moss Man. Ha 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 ha. You know, you say no flocked Moss Man, but here he is. I got the rock. Jitsu. Uh, Chasm down here hanging out. And a movie star turtle. Uh, we got Destro's and Lady J this morning. Is he going to take the place of Gung Ho? Uh, oh, there he is. I was going to say Gung Ho. It looks like she's stepping out on you, dude. Most of the time you all are a package deal. Can I know? Macho Man. Uh, there we go. Um, Link, Diddy Kong, Five Nights at Freddy's, alright, I think that's about it, let's go out here and see what we got in Diecast. Anybody down here? Nope. Uh, got the Ford Mustang, Boss, somebody hit a turtle on it and hide, but a turtle wagon back there. Uh, nothing exciting there. What else we got here? 
Anything up top? Nano scene, there's a night rider. Cold pursuit. Revenge is best served cold. I'm not familiar with what that is. There's another one. Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Um, let's check it down a peg or it's gonna fall. I think I got a pretty good stock of Batman stuff there. The Hot Wheels Star Wars vehicles. And they got Loki down there and a big Ford Thunderbird. Hmm. Night Rider. Anything else good in these themed cars? Fast and the Furious. Candle Oil, the 76. Candle Oil. Rick and Morty. Some more party wagons. Okay, what else? It looks like this Walmart's gonna be kind of a bust, guys. So let's get my old bones moving a little bit quicker here and just scan it through here. Oh, she's stocking something in the toy aisle. She's not stocking around the areas that we were wanting to see stocking fake place in. I would be more excited about them stocking, but there's only like three boxes left on her cart out there. But hey, that doesn't mean they're not make far or something, right? Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. We're going to step out here in the center aisle to see if I can tell what stock boxes she has left. And then we're going to collectibles. If I find anything in either, I'll show it to you. If I don't, well, I'll see you at another Walmart. Stop number two on our early morning Saturday toy hunt is the Walmart on Browns Mill Road in Johnson City. Uh, the first one, I have to admit, it was a little disappointing. We got to throw something away here. So hopefully we can get in here and find a little bit more. But let's go in and check it out. Dokely Dokely Transformers, we're starting out as usual. Ooh, is that jazz? I think I've seen that before. That is pretty cool. Crap, the $25. Ooh. If that is the correct price, I'm glad I don't collect Transformers either. And there's Sludge. I never have seen Snarl. What's the Studio Series 04 thing here? Gamer Edition Megatron. That's kind of cool looking. Somebody's getting down the other aisle over there. That's making me want to whistle. Uh, Stockman and Wingnut and Screw Loose. We've got usual stuff down there. Got the party wagon or Pizza Fire van. It's not the party wagon anymore. Oh, what do we got here in these retros? There's a Baxter Stockman up there. You got a Wingnut, Genghis, Genghis. Um, some of these are getting ready to fall off, so we're going to fix that for Walmart because this toy section looking going through there actually looks pretty neat. Movie Turtles and Genghis back through there. Alright. Spider-Man, Doc Ock, um, Gujitsus. 12 bucks for Captain America Shield. 1997, they're down a couple of dollars there on those other mixed track things. I wish the little figures right there would go down. I still got a bunch of Spider-Man card of legends here too. That chasm, which is very cool looking. That Ben Riley, Tarantula Miles. Oh, there he is, the Rose. Penny and the Roses. Rose and Tarantula. They had Tarantula in there. Yep. Best two figures of that wave. Siren. Bluey hanging out up there. Who we got here? Marvel Boy, Captain Marvel. Those are Ant Man because they're not marked. Marvel Boy, Zombie Iron Man. Oh, I got that thing for free at Target when it was first released. It was not in their system yet and wouldn't ring up. And the little front end manager's like, We don't sell this, you can just have it. I chronicled that in like my second video on YouTube. If anyone wants to go back and see it. Rogue, Cyclops, and Wolverine. Really, if I knew that set at Target, that five pack was coming out, probably would not have bought those figures there. I'd have waited for the five pack because now if I want to get Gambit, I have to pay $45 for four figures I've already got in Gambit. But hey, didn't know at the time. Bunch of Captain Adams there. And I see they just saw some black lightning there that was slashed across the front the other day. We're going to check this stuff out before we. 
Bend down there and dig through those. Like it's not Cyclone. Get the Viking Batman or Barbarian, whatever you want to call him. Previous wave of superpowers. Uh, we got the clearance here, 20 bucks on that. Got 10 on my buddy there. 16 looks like no. Okay, this is weird. A supermobile here is showing $24. And the Batwing is 16. Most of the time when the stores, the Batwing is more expensive than the supermobile. <sighs> I don't get it. Anyways. Where were we? After I forgot. Anything up top, multiverse? I don't see anything. I see a Kang hanging out up there. Down there's some more of my buddy. My buddy here, I got a feeling we'll see him at Ollie's. It's, it's okay. You've done your duty. Rest. Rest now. Oh, man. I made it. I'm down. Duke Tom, look at this. Oh, that ear. This, look at this crap. Well, this one might have been done when I opened it. But someone had, I bet you the build a piece figure, build a figure piece is gone. Yep. I'm going to rip that open to steal the bigger build a figure piece. Oh. It's so frustrating. People do crap like that. That's why you can't have nice things anymore. It's the idiots that steal stuff. Dude, guys. Unfortunate black lightning there. Oh, nothing else back in there. Did I even look at what these were? I don't think I did. Let's move these up here. They stole them out of these too. Look at this. They stole this whole wave. Oh, idiot people. Robin and Batman. <sighs> they must have to get in a hurry on the other one there, so I about caught them. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons are on clearance here. There we go with that. 19 for the big dragon. Same as it has been in other stores. We'll take a look at that stuff in a minute. There's some movie turtles up there. And those are really, really showing up in abundance. That's Mr. Freeze. <laughs> what else we got down through here? It's Austin 316 truck. Anything else up top? We got Link, all kinds of Bowsers. I wish Bowser had a good clearance. I found him for clearance so far. It's been $25. I'd get him down around 15 It'd be awesome. I don't see anything really different here. We'll check out our G.I. Joe as we get down and see some shipwreck. And then our usuals. ATAT -AT Walker. Star Wars. Oh, look here. They got the Mr. RVD. Now, this was a hot commodity at one time. Everybody was trying to find this guy. That's actually a pretty good likeness of RVD. Got that hideous spinner belt. That one's kind of vegetable he looks stoned in that one but it's fitting for him <laughs> okay somebody's wanting to look at the back of it there mr rob van dam enjoyed his work profusely when i used to watch wrestling back in the day i'm old enough to remember him in ecw straddle is down to 27 dollars huh they got flock moss man too all kinds of scrap iron look at this We'll go back to that stuff in a minute. Let's my open this and steal it too. Found that on clearance at Target here a while back. How many scrap irons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight scrap iron. Hopefully that'll hit clearance one of these days and we'll grab him. Don't know about paying full price for him. I was going to pick him up, but I'm, I'm not paying $45. He's one if I miss. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be too sad about it. What else we got wrestlers here? We got Thunder Rosa. She looks different. Is she new? Oh, this is one with the LGN CM Punk. I bet that's going to be a hot commodity for the Punk fans trying to find the LJN figure. I saw someone posting somewhere. They had found it. And I'm not going through all these wrestlers. I don't see any 104s. 
Ultimate Warrior if I didn't point him out. All right, let's skip over here now to. Oh, I didn't look at Mo. I didn't look at Mo two and GI Joe, Baroness. Got one rock and roll left. A couple of shipwrecks. Lady J's. Gung Ho. Destro's not here trying to move in on this woman, but shipwreck and rock and roll. They're kind of pushing up there, Gung Ho. You better do your, do your thing. Fight for you, woman. All right. Oh, we still got Snout Spout Leeches back here for $21.97. I, I wonder if that's the actual price. We're not going to scan them because we don't want them, but. Golden Batmobile. The white 89 there. All right, what we got here in Lego? See any clearance signs or anything? Or rollback? Uh, what's the metal figs there? Minecraft. There's the Batman. Tentacles. Okay, let's get down here and check out Diecast. Get it all in one shot today, guys. That makes me happy. That's less editing. <laughs> So last night I did film the 1,000 subscriber giveaway and by the time you see this video, that video has already dropped. So William Golden won the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. That was kind of fun figuring out how to do that. I gotta get set up for live streaming. As soon as I get a little more done in my toy room there, I'll be able to. But Let's see what else we got there. Ooh, that looks different. The Crimson Crusher. Oh man, I'm not going to say that was somebody trying to steal it though. That could have been tore up from the box. The Chevy Bel Air Falcon. I got to say, that really irritates me with that darkest night wave over there. Ugh. I don't have any tolerance for thieves. It's not like they're trying to steal a loaf of bread because they don't have enough money to get food for their family. It's a freaking toy. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to dig through all the Hot Wheels. Nothing there. They do have that cool gold Batmobile. There could be loads of treasure hunts in there. We're not going to take time to dig through all that. What we are going to do, though, is go and see what this is. It says glow in the dark on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, don't, I think I might have seen that before. Anyways, I saw glowing the darker monster trucks and had me hooked. Anyways, that's going to do it for the main toy aisles. We are going to go now and we are going to check out collectors. There's a little two in one half thing. That's kind of cool. If I do see anything in collectors, I will show it to everybody. If I don't, then I'll see you at yet another Walmart. All right, we are going to film this intro from the cab of the truck because we are at Target about, uh, yeah, 10 minutes before they even open. Dedication? Yes. But as soon as they open the doors, we'll go in, we'll see what they got. We just witnessed a foot race of elderly people getting in here to try to get to the Hot Wheels. That's going to be me in a few years. We got Bishop. He's beaten up. We're not going to get that. Because those are going to stay on card. You got those things back in. Um, well. Necron. They got the new Aquaman figure to set down there. X-Jet. There's that. Still got Tiger Force Dusty, but no other Joes. Uh, Barry Allen. Cornell Signal. Signal. I don't remember if they had this thing last time I was here, but I don't much like that. I'm saying back there, Jay Garrick. At least the people haven't broken into these and stole the pieces out of them. <laughs> the bill, they got that little four set there. The, those guys, it's sad that Coronation Store Scream is still $55 here. 
It's a little Aquaman set. That Black Manta looks pretty cool. I may get the multiverse version of that when it comes out. And these are cheaper at Walmart. $23 at Walmart. These people are really loud. Man, I hate Bishop's messed up. That sucks. Agatha is all they've got to the new Legends. Man, it's probably been the morning Johnson City would have had all the hitters. I thought it was worse than what it was. They got blue teeth, they got triple H, they got a bunch of rocks. I went in the Walmart at uh, Fort Henry Drive, usually one of the better ones. They didn't have anything. I mean, literally, they had Future State Batman, and that was it. They had some in the clearance section, but they weren't on clearance. They didn't have the stone cold of that, though, if I hadn't said that yet. I put a short on YouTube so I didn't film any footage in there. Slush head. I have still got uh, my original slush head somewhere. They got this guy, too. That thing's cool looking. Oh, uh, we got the Millennium Falcon little set there. That thing's awesome. The Sun Man 3-pack. Well, they got some stuff over here if they don't have Marvel and DC. Uh, they got one of the new Indiana Jones there from the map room. We'll just take a picture of this stuff. Well, this looks like a better thumbnail than what I got at Walmart. Wow. <laughs> I can look through these Baxter's Genghis Baxter crane. Okay. Shred R. Alrighty. We're going to check out some clearance in cabs that we're going to get over to collectors. See what we can find over there. Oh, actually, there's some more turtles. Alright. We're not going to go down the hot wells aisle because we know that is a hot bed of activity. <laughs> Man, I wish I could have got that bishop. What have we got here on clearance? Rocket Raccoon. What's the Spider Man thing here on clearance? Is that bike? I'm wondering how much it is. I hit the end record button while I was still talking. But, anyways, don't know how much that thing is, but don't know if I want that. Um, down here, I walked down and talked to myself for a few minutes. They got that for $27.99. I wonder what the price was on it. Because the price is not on the one in Bristol. Oh, uh, we got some 749. One of those called Dungeons and Dragons. 839 for Johnny Lawrence. Spider Man mask. Anything behind these? Holga, Simon. Oh, they had Forge, it'd have them all. But I think that is going to do it for the main toy section. We're going to try to check out some die casts before we leave, and then we'll hit collectors and we'll see what we can find. Okay, I've I've seen my future, everyone. Please don't think I'm making fun. This is really going to be me in the future. But um, they were talking to a Target employee, the people who come back here to the die cast. They were kind of in the foot race for it, and um, they brought some boxes out. So they're out in the aisle looking. So I cleared this aisle out so we can look. But one thing, look here. They've got the guile, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, we are picking that up. So I'll come back and get that. We get done filming this aisle. Um, what else we got down through here? Got those big Hot Wheels that are terribly overpriced. Kind of wonder if I see that same group they were in the Walmart I was just in. If I'm going to see them at the next Walmart I'm going to as well. <laughs> Ooh, there's a cart. Anything on it? Doesn't look like it. Um, Alright, that's going to do it for the main toy aisle, guys. We're going to head over now to Collectors. We're going to grab Guy. Let's go see what else we can find. What's our collector section got? I can already see some McFarland down there that we're going to check out. We're going to get to work our way down there. It's Black Noir. I still got him. Angela for Gargoyles. Gremlins, some Predators, some Alien, Creep Show, some Dummies, a book. Uh, Freddy Krueger, if I haven't already said him. Yugi Oogie. Oh, oh, yep. Mm, here we go. We got Blackest Night figures over here. That's odd. They do have Abyss. 
two of them have this. They don't have a... I need to learn more about this character. He looks cool. I got this figure, but I kind of wish I would have waited now. I could have got it cheaper. At Target with 5% off of my card. Got a case of Red Robin there. Another Abyss. We got Two-Face and Scarecrow. I had pre-ordered these. I got my pre-order in, man. They were beating up a little bit, so... I picked up two of these in the Bristol Target the other day and took the two I pre-ordered back. <laughs> and Scarecrow, I gotta say, I had high hopes. Oh, this one's busted at the top. That sucks. High hopes for him with the Joker eyes, what they would have done painting it. The red eyes are cool, though. I will say that. He does look kind of cool. I wish they would have done, like, black or what it didn't. I guess the original was black, but something did it with his pants there. But these were the last two of the Jokerized figures I want to get. Unless they do a Jokerized Mega Fig Bane. That I will probably buy. But those Jokerized are getting ridiculous. Nothing against McFarlane. I mean, I'm sure there's people that like those things. But with everything else he has coming out, I can't afford to get it all. So I'm going to start picking and choosing. Um, <laughs> Garfield. That's cool. Hang out there for a second, gal. What do we got? We ain't got Roger, do we? Nope. Smarty, stupid, and the judge. Now, wait and see. I'm going to leave that there. I'll end up forgetting it. Oh, this is the new diorama. I think for the monster verse for Hollow Earth. I haven't seen that thing either. We'll take a picture of it. Have some more fodder for the thumbnail. I got to say, my yesterday after work hunt has been a little more fruitful than what I'm finding so far. I wonder which one of these is the rare one. The one with the golden motorcycle or this one with the red? Because GameStop has the gold one. Target has the red one. Maybe those colors are exclusive to those stores. We've got a whole plethora of crap here behind us. Looks like the same old stuff. We'll go through it in a second. Um, Turtles, X-Men. Got the holiday pops there for Marvel. Not really seeing anything else. Let's see what we got here on this little thing. Anything different? Predators out the yin yang. Alf. That'd be a showdown right there. Alf versus the Predator. Oh, an ET, another alien. Throw him in there. Well, we got Groot, too. He's technically an alien. That's not technically. He is an alien. Oh, this, this thing looks cool. Let's get a better hold on this because I'm going to drop it. Look at that. Come on. Looks like. Sylvester Stallone, oddly. <laughs> Man, I'm getting my Monopoly Go app. I'm getting all kinds of notifications. People are attacking my landmarks left and right. <sighs> They're going to use up all my shields. Uh, both of these. I think some of these are starting to show up at Ross stores and stuff. There's the, what is that? Tall Thug and Short Gangster. Kermy. I don't see any more clearance end caps down through there. I think, everybody, that is going to do it for the target hunt. I'm going to stroll back through the toys over there just to make sure they ain't putting anything else out. And if they do, of course, anything good, I'll show it to you. And if not, I guess I'll see you at the next. We're just going to head out of here. <laughs> I didn't forget it. Let's go pay for Guy. Let's hit the road. Guy. Walmart number four. Yeah, I think Weststone Drive in Kingsport. Let's head in here and see what we can find. I gotta say, I'm kind of curious. I wanna see if the Hot Wheel collectors hit this store as well. We got out of Target before they did, so let's see if they follow behind, follow behind me. <laughs> we got Transformers. Who's this? Laser Cycle. He's cool looking. I have to say, what else we got down through here? This Lion Leo Prime. I thought it was Leona Prime. That's cool, that main there. It's a cool looking Prime. These have been clearance in some stores for $18. There is Coronation Star Screen. Nike and Leo. These, these be $24 here. I see they're down to $19 here now. Let's see what we got. Baxter. I haven't seen any of the new turtles this morning. I gotta say, guys, yesterday after work, like late Friday evening, I hit that book some million and stuff where I found the Batman. I thought, man, this is gonna be a good weekend. Stock's hitting, but it's been slow this morning. 
I got some, look, it's still got bone breaker legends here. All right, we're not getting negative. We're starting to get whiny. We're gonna look around here. Got Spider-Man. Well, I must have got another case of these things in. It seems like they've gotten a restock. Maybe it's every Walmart we've been in. No X-Men, they got the place on the thing for the X-Men legends yet. Don't see anything. You got a bunch of legends up there too. Ant-Man, anything behind him? Egghead, number five, who's number five? Crossfire, I don't see Ultron. Uh, there's future Ant-Man. I got that at Target in Johnson City on clearance a few weeks back. Vulcan and Darwin. Vulcan's showing up at Ross. Darwin's at Ollie's. So. Anybody looking for those and have those stores in your areas, be checking them out. Well, McFarlane's not looking promising at first glance for a vampire green lantern. I got lucky finding that thing as quick as it did. I gotta say. Now it's got to find it again. There's a vampire Superman and a Shazam. Let's give you a close-up of a dinosaur here. Look at that for a second. Oh. Captain Adam, there's a Ray Mysterio up there. That's still a good looking figure. I wonder if it's on clearance. It's hitting clearance everywhere, but I can already see here the Batwing. And then I can see the dragon down there for D&D &D, and those figures aren't on clearance. So I'm betting it hasn't hit this Walmart yet. Blackest Night. That's still the fig swap. Yep. Dark Detective. That one right there is getting ready to fall off that peg any second. Uh, let's move the dino here. Yep, those are all Captain Adams. Uh, superpowers are the same. Who we got here? Another Shazam. There's Foxy. Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna be cool, it's gotta be called FNAF. Because this generation can't stand to say the whole term of anything. Superman, Captain Adam. Oh man, I sound like a bitter old person every day. <laughs> I gotta work on that. <sighs> well, I don't see anything up top still. Man, they got a buttload of superpowers here. Like I'm saying, you're gonna see Ollie's and Ross and everything that's overflowing with superpowers. Hey, that was on clearance at the Kingsport, the Fort Henry Walmart for $32.97, which is also the same price it is retail. They had a bunch of clearance items actually at the store where everything was retail. That's not clearance. Ooh, what's this thing? Inquisitor Transport. Now this is cool looking. I don't know if this is new or not, but that black, that looks great. These, this line right here, if I ever, I said it before, I don't want to say it again. I didn't want to hear it turn, change the channel off, but if I ever start collecting Star Wars stuff, this is what I would want. It's Micro Galaxy Squadron. This stuff looks awesome, I think. Imperial Shuttle. Cool stuff. Luke and Grogu hanging out. Another Death Storm. There's Venom back there looking at me. What else we got? I see they got Stone Cold here as well. Stone Cold, Steve Austin's Ultimate is the only thing they really have. Whatever crap. At the Fort Henry Walmart. That one really disappointed me. I really had high hopes for that one. Maybe they haven't stocked yet. I don't know. We'll hit it again one day next week. These are all Boba Fett. Din, Din Jaren. Cad Bane. I don't see this stuff like I know what I'm looking at. Uh, Poe Dameron's X-Wing. There is a, what is that, Darth Vader, Tie Vader? Tie Advanced. Oh, I was close. I almost got it right. There's no pole behind me, are there? No. We'll take a look at those WWE Ultimates in a minute. I actually don't have to bend over to pick up Stone Cold. Right here it is. This is the one I found in Target a while back. They tried to charge me $50 for because it wasn't in their system. And the guy looked it up on eBay. I'm like, really? eBay? You're going to try to hold me to eBay prices. 
And there's Robert Rude. I was always a fan of him and um, TNA. Okay, let's squat down here and see what in all we got. An ultimate. So oh, I didn't mean knock that over. There's another Stone Cold. Ah, this Ultimate Warrior is awesome, I think. The WCW version. They should make a Hulk Hogan whose hand sparks. So you can reenact or reenact the scene where they're supposed to shot a fireball on Warrior's face and it the little paper they used to use it went up so easy. It flashed too soon in the match and it was nowhere close to Warrior, but he acted like it blinded him anyways. <laughs> Man, I miss WCW. Uh, a bunch of Pokemon. Looks the Pokemon cards. Stacks and stacks of them. Out the Yin Yang. I don't really know what a Yin Yang is. I assume it's a butt. Uh, there's Riddle and Orton. They just got rid of Riddle recently, didn't they? Oh, they got the new wave. There's Silo. Silo. How do you say that? Sokoa? Solo Sokoa. That Rick Steiner does look awesome, I gotta say. And this one is actually in decent shape. I was a huge fan of the Steiner Brothers. Not so much when they split off. I liked them better together than I did as singles. Who they got here in this wave? AJ, Drew, Braun Breaker. So we got AJ, we got Rick. We got Silo, Dakota Kai. They get into 103s. Here is Braun Breaker. I'm trying to see they got the whole wave. So we've seen AJ, Solo, Braun, Rick, and Dakota. So Drew McIntyre. Let's see if they got Drew in here. I'll put these back when I'm done looking. There's another Solo. There's Drew. Ha, they got the whole wave. That's cool. Now I'll put those back right here in a second since I finish recording, guys. Man, look at that TIE Fighter and oh, not TIE Fighter, man. <laughs> Point Dread and Talon Fighter. That is smashed. Somebody else been through before I was and got mad they didn't have anything and poof. I hope that didn't happen. Oh man, look at this, a razor crest for eleven bucks. Now that's that's clearance. That's clearance. Another one of those cool what was that thing? Inquisitor transport? What do we got here? Rock and roll, shipwreck, Lady J's, gung hoes. Okay. Um, are you the Lady J's? Another Ultimate Warrior, the previous version. Who we got up there in AEW? Eddie Kingston's. Those things are showing up in force. I saw one of those laying here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Almost dropped it, but we saved it. Kind of gives me a Bully Ray vibe there. I'm not seeing anything different than I recognize in any of this. So we are going to put the wrestlers back where we found them. And then we're going to head over and check out some die cast and Lego and then collectors. If they have anything in any of that, I'll show it to you. If they don't, then I'll see you at the next. Hello there, everybody. My name is Chris. You just watched another toy hunt from the man collects. Now, welcome back here to the toy room. We're going to wrap up what you just saw, show the pickups. But first of all... One more time, just to bring up my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Congratulations once again to William Golden, who did win the 1,000 sub giveaway. And also a big thank you to everyone who entered. Thank you to everyone who supports the channel. And thank you to everyone who was in the live chat there Saturday night as we unveiled who won the contest. That was a lot of fun doing that premiere. I'm going to do some more of those. Has had some fun with that. It was nice to do one and kind of feel out how it works and see how that stuff goes. So now I'll be better prepared what to do when I do some more of those here in the future. But William has selected Vampire Batman. I'll get this out to you this week, sir. I got to get a box from work to ship this thing in, but I will get this out to you. But that was his choice for the prize was the DC versus Vampires of Vampire Batman. I'll also keep it in his hard case because I didn't say that, William. So to get to you in good shape, hopefully. <laughs> All right, the weekend toy hunt. Friday after work, I started, I always hit all my usual stops in Bristol Fridays on my way home just to see if they're stocking for the weekends. And I don't always film those hunts, but I found some good stuff this Friday. I found some stuff in Ross, found some stuff in Books, Books a Million. Oh man, I found some awesome stuff in there. And then in GameStop, uh, just talk about Ross first. I can't remember the order I was in there, but uh, 
you know, and Ross, they had the multiverse figures. They had a pretty good stock of stuff in there. Nothing I picked up from that store, but stuff I wasn't seeing yet. Uh, I saw other people finding in their Ross stores. There's a Transformer. I can't remember the name of it on top of my head. I've got to find in Ross. I know what it looks like. I got a picture of it with one of my local buddies is trying to find that for his uh, his son. So I got to help track that thing down. So we're going to be hitting Ross stores hot and heavy this week because I've been all over the place this weekend. I've been to three different Ross stores and I can't find it. They had one to my local Ross store. I had two of them, but they're sold out now. So hopefully I can find that this week and help somebody out. Uh, let's see, Books of Me, and I had the best stuff I found there on Friday. They had the new Hush Batman. If it's anything like the blue and gray version, it's going to be hard to find. And I, I did buy that figure. It's sitting right here to show you during the wrap-up. It looks good, don't get me wrong. It looks better than the black and gray that's in that two-pack with Hush, who's probably right up here somewhere. Yeah, the old Batman has spawned. Where is it? I know it's up here. Batman vs. Hush, there it is. It does look better than the one in that two-pack. I don't think it looks better than the blue and gray one. The blue and gray one, hands down, in my personal opinion, is the best Batman figure McFarlane has put out. Uh, but this black and gray one looks pretty good as well. We'll take a look at it in more detail here in the when I get to show on the haul portion. But we found that there. They had the two new Mega Figs, Anti-Monitor, Justice Buster. It was cool to see those. Only second time seeing those things in retail stores. So I'm sure they'll start popping up in some more places now. Only thing with Books of Me, you know, they are a little more expensive, but if you've got the Millionaire's Club, the discounts off with that usually brings this stuff down to right where we'll be in Target or a little bit. I think Batman was $21.99 uh, retail there with that Millionaire's discount brought down to $19.79. Actually cheaper than what it would be at Target unless you got the red card. It'd be a little bit better, but... But anyways, there we did see Hush Batman, those mega figs. It was cool to see that stuff there in Books of Million. Uh, GameStop also, G.I. Joe's, they had some awesome new G.I. Joe classifieds. They had one of the Grunt figures. Grunt was, was Grunt the one that Target was, had showing up for like 11 bucks. They made a mistake in their pricing or something like that. And people were buying that thing in droves, like $11 for a brand new figure. But uh, they, had that, they had one of those there, and it was not $11, it was $25. Uh, they had the Crimson Viper, and they had Desert Commando Snake Eyes. So it's cool to see those. Always cool to see new Joes. Um, that's not something my area gets a whole lot. It's usually kind of harder to find those G.I. Joe figures. You've got to be at Target in Bristol, Virginia, right when they put those suckers on the pegs, or you usually don't get new G.I. Joe classifieds. I don't know if it's collectors, scalpers, whatever, that swoop those things up, and they're gone with them. But that was the Friday hunt, the first part of the weekend hunt. And then on Saturday morning, I hit a lot of my usual spots. Um, the Walmart in Johnson City, the first one I went in, that store's been a little slow lately, but they always come with the fire. So I'm sure they'll restock here pretty soon, have all kinds of good stuff. But um, like I said, not a whole lot there worth talking about. I don't remember what I found in that store off the top of my head, to be honest with you. And I don't know if I've said it or not. I don't have my notes in front of me tonight because I forgot my computer in the house from... Sorry guys, I'm flying blind here. And we're right now we're we're depending on what I've got up here and the man collects is getting old. This ain't as sharp as it used to be, but we're gonna do the best we can. Uh, just to sum up the Walmarts in Johnson City, both of them, wrestling figures were the hitters that I saw. I think I saw that Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate. I'm trying to think of which store I saw that in. It may have been the one in Kingsport I didn't film the Walmart. That one on Fort Henry Drive really let me down Saturday morning. That usually is stocked, it's organized. Uh, they didn't have anything. I mean anything. That Stone Cold figure, I think that is where I saw it. That was the only thing I saw in that store worth of crap. And I put a short out on YouTube about that. There was nothing included in this video with it. Uh, let's see. The Walmarts again. I saw our Ultimate RVD. I don't remember which one. I saw that. I saw Ruthless Aggression, Brock Lesnar. Um, we saw the Stone Cold figure that I put the short out on. What else did we see? The Ultimate Warrior, the one based on the WCW run. And then we saw all of Series 104. I think that was at the last Walmart that you saw in the video there. But uh, the Rick Steiner figure, I think, looks really, really good. Um, I was really tempted to buy that. I was a fan of his back in you know WCW and all that stuff. And then his earlier work, you know, WWF. And I can't remember the independent promotions he was in. But uh, I always liked Rick Steiner. Didn't pick it up. I didn't I didn't much care, honestly, for his singles run in the later years of WCW. I didn't like it that good, or WCW. I need to say it properly, I guess. But anyways, I did not pick that up. Braun Breaker figure looked great. The Drew McIntyre The Drew McIntyre figure looked good as well. But again, we're not gonna go down a wrestling figure rabbit hole, even though if this is the wrestling figure rabbit hole, I'm standing right there and trying not to fall over into it. So we're we're fighting that urge all we can. Uh, the Target, I only got to one this week. I didn't get to Johnson City. I was actually having to hurry Saturday morning. I had to hurry and get back home uh, for a little man soccer game there. So we were out super early. But I hit the one in Kingsport. Uh, didn't find a whole, whole lot sexy in there as far as new stuff. They had Bishop. I wanted to get that carded Bishop. 
X-Men 97 figure because Wolverine, Bishop, and uh, Magneto were the only ones I wanted out of this first wave. But he doesn't have long hair. That's number one. Number two, the card for that one in, in Kingsport was all jacked up. It was bent. It was chipped at the bottom. Those were staying on card for me. So I didn't want to get one that was messed up. So we did not get Bishop. Um, the coolest thing I got to say I saw in the Kingsport stores this week, um, there was a group of older people a man and his wife and a few other guys, and they were hitting every store I was going to, hitting hitting the Hot Wheels hard and heavy. And there was one at the Kingsport Target. I mean, the dude got out walking with the rest of his little group. As soon as them doors unlocked, that dude was gone. He was through the doors, and <laughs> he passed me, and all I'm getting back there. But that Target store, I don't know who was over that toy section back there, some younger-looking guy, but he went to the back. He brought out cases of Hot Wheels for him. I thought that was really cool. And it gives me a glimpse into the future because, like I said in the video, I was not in any way, shape, or form trying to make fun of those people. That's going to be me, hopefully Kelly, you know, when we get to be that age, going out still trying to find some of these action figures. So it was cool to see that, you know, and get, see some more people out there enjoying the hobbies as well. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's quit rambling on. Let's just get to the haul. What do we pick up? Let's start with Friday's pickup. So Books a Million, I mean, yeah, I was not going to leave this on the shelf Hopefully you can see it kind of good there. The Hush Batman, the black and the gray version. Kind of two batarangs there. The batarangs look cool in silver. I can't remember what color they were with the blue one that came. And pretty much you're getting the same stuff. Uh, he's got the power ring. Oh, that's awesome. I was hoping he still had the green well, the Green lantern or kryptonite ring. Not green lantern. Lord have mercy. The kryptonite ring. If you can tell up there through the package. Because this guy's staying in box. I might eventually get another one one day to take out a package. I don't know. But again, he's staying in box. And of course, this is the same figure as the blue and gray one. I just like the blue, prefer it better. I think it's a better looking figure. But yeah, we picked up Hush Batman. So check your books a million. He's starting to hit there if he's not hitting anywhere else. And he is $21.99 at my books a million. So I think I talked about the price of it earlier. So I'm not going to go over that again. Oh, we're going to lay this thing. All right, next pickups from Friday. We did get some classifieds. I did pick up the Cobra Viper. I am a uh, Crimson Viper. I'm so sorry, but he is a Cobra Viper. These Crimson figures, I'm a sucker for. I started to buy that Crimson Fire Team or whatever with the Baroness and the two twins. With 90 bucks, I decided to skip that thing. But like I said, we did get the uh, the Crimson Viper. And because I am also a huge fan of Snake Eyes, we got the Desert Commando Snake Eyes. And like I said, this is the best version of Snake Eyes. Eh, probably not, but still it looks cool. And it's Snake Eyes. You gotta love Snake Eyes. Come on. All right, let's lay these three over to the side. Another thing in GameStop, I don't know if you have to be a, like a pro member or whatever, but if you spend more than 30 bucks, you get a free little bag right now they've got. Check this thing out. This thing is cool. We've got that big Friday the 13th mask, the Lost Boys. Uh, what's up at the top? Or I guess that's, uh, I don't know what that is. But anyways, you got Friday the 13th and the Lost Boys. Cool stuff on that side. And then on the other side here, you got some more Friday the 13th. Uh, but the girl was ringing me out. She said, you know, you know you've qualified for this. Do you want it? For free, I'm like, should you do I want it for free? I would take the thing for four or five bucks. It's got Friday the thirteenth on it. But yeah. I got that tool tote bag from GameStop. That was pretty cool. Uh all right, the next place you picked something up from was the King Sport Target. You know what I picked up in there. We picked up the Guile, the little Jada die cash truck that comes with a little Guile figure. Guile was my favorite character from Street Fighter 2 back in the day. Uh, and again, I saw this one time before in that Target and passed up on it and have not seen it since. So I always told myself, I see this thing again, I'm picking it up. Now, when I got this, I'm pretty sure the shelf uh, sticker showed $24.99. It was only $20.99 when I got to the, the register. So I don't know if that's the regular price, but that's what it rang up for whenever I checked out there it was $20.99. Even a better price than what I thought I was paid. And I like the presentation of this where Guy there is not a posable figure. I'm going to leave this in box. He'll end up being probably, I got a Batmobile sitting down if you can see it beside the Flash one. He's going to go right on top of that Batmobile to be displayed here in the toy room. All right, my next pickup, and this was a nostalgia piece for me, uh, something, you know, my, my mother is no longer with us. She passed away a few years ago, or I mean, actually about 10 years ago, but she loved the TV show Home Improvement. Now, I don't remember the red car there from Home Improvement. I remember the blue roadster that uh, he built on that. And then Jill had the Austin Healey and the Nomad there for a little while, but I don't remember the 64 Ford, or 46 Ford. He did buy another hot rod toward the end of that show to restore. Maybe that was the second one he did, but anyway, I saw the home improvement on there, and like I said, I have a lot of memories of watching this show, you know, with my mom, my brother, and everybody else. I couldn't pass that up. That's a nostalgia trip. That'd have been cool if it had been the blue hot rod or something with Benford on the side of it, but again, pick this up. 
in honor of Mama. All right, as far as stuff you saw me in the store, that is what I got. I got one more thing I picked up at the Greenville uh, Ross here, and we did find this Ninja Turtle 4-pack. Um, I remember seeing this in the store, I'm pretty sure, but for 20 bucks, this it, had to be more than 20 bucks. I mean, that 4-pack of foot soldiers, they wanted 80 bucks for that friggin' thing when it was new, so I would assume this was probably 50 or 60, but you can see there on the back, you get the two, I think it's Donnie and Raph, you get with it, and then you get uh, two versions of Shredder there, so... It looks pretty cool, and this is in excellent shape, you know, for the Ross store there. But she had just put these out on the shelf the other night. I don't know how good you can see it, guys, with the glare. I can't see my camera right now the way I'm holding this up, but hopefully we can get it turned. I can't figure a way to turn it. You can see it. Right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good there. Hopefully you can tell something about it. But you got the two turtles, a bunch of weapons. You got the two shredders, an awesome little set. And again, I don't usually buy a lot of this best action stuff. I don't know. I just like this thing. And for 20 bucks, I mean, you really can't. It's $5 a figure. It's kind of hard to go wrong for that, for that, uh, those little figures. But as far as the haul, as far as the hunt, that is it. Thank you for joining me again. I apologize for not having my notes out here. and probably rambling on like an idiot through half of this. But hey, I'm glad you watched it and hopefully you liked it. And with all that being said, let's get to my usual plugs. My social media. If you look in the, de the, about, uh, the, the description of this video, I cannot talk tonight. If you look in the description of this video... If you look at my about page on YouTube, you will find the link to my Instagram page. You should also see something here at the bottom telling you what to type in and go to on Instagram to find The Man Collects. I do post things on there. I don't always have any videos. And if I start doing these premieres, and I, I, there's a live stream that's coming. I'm going to do a live stream. Honestly, that premiere was kind of the, the test. And then out here using my webcam to record my, that, myself down the corner of that video where I announced the winner. Those were all test runs to see how my setup out here would work for a live stream. So as soon as I figure out what exactly I'm going to do, <laughs> we're going to do one of those. But anyways, check on Instagram. There's will be information on it for all that stuff when I do start doing those things. And as usual, if you are that first time viewer to this content, you've come back several times, you have not yet subscribed, consider clicking subscribe and see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. With all that being said, hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope your week has gotten off to an excellent start. And until the next hunt, see you later.